On the Health Watch, an implant that merges the brain with artificial intelligence that's aimed at helping patients who have brain disorders. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now to explain. Hi. Okay, guys. Mm. You know, this sounds a little like science fiction, doesn't it? But Elon, Elon Musk says he plans to make it a reality. Musk says the brain implant would connect to a computer or smartphone via Bluetooth and could be controlled with an iPhone app. The threads are very tiny. Um, and there's a lot of them. Elon Musk is once again making headlines. Tesla's CEO says the startup he founded, Neuralink, is developing a brain implant with threads as small as a neuron that could repair motor function or provide a memory boost with the help of artificial intelligence. It could help cancer patients, quadriplegics, or stroke victims. This, um, I think, has a very good purpose, uh, which is to cure important diseases um, and ultimately to help secure humanities. Uh, future. The implant is giving hope to people like Terry Little, whose mom had a stroke. And if that technology worked and it was something that gave me hope, I wish she would have had it 20 years ago. Terry owns a Tesla and says her car is an example of how Musk is already changing the world. Now she hopes his brain implant will soon be able to help her mom. And we can question, you know, the way he gets there, but he's always thinking of ways to improve lives and including electric cars. Russ Hancock, who funds these kinds of projects, believes Musk is the right person to merge human beings with artificial intelligence. This is a guy that has changed the world as we know it with an electric car that actually works. Mm -hmm. Now he's trying to get inside your brain. Now, Musk says he wants to have his brain implant in a patient by late next year. It's going to be interesting to see what doctors have to say about this right. implant. Very right? interesting. And who volunteers. Yeah, like, right, yeah. right. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate uh -huh. it. Well,